I grew up here in these valleys and I've seen the problems people face over many, many years and things for, for so many people are getting worse. I'm Leanne Wood and I want to be part of the solution to put things right. I've got the plan, I've got the determination and I've got a great team of people and if we can build on the community spirit that already exists in these valleys, we can be utterly amazing. I just think, you know, there are so many things that she is standing up for that are relevant to the people of the Rhonda. I see how Leanne works. She gets stuff done. She's a great advocate for the area. Privy Mill, I'm Leanne Wood. Do you still meddle? I'm a guy say off. I cross towards local Penagrai girl. And what's just in coming for the Val Nemani in consideration for Team Mundia, Prince Swam Ruin. We're in Triorki. This is Too Good to Waste, which has been the base of our food share scheme through COVID. We set up a food share scheme in the summer of 2019, and since then we've uh, put out more than 3,000 food parcels helping to support uh, local people. The chief aim of the scheme is to end food waste, so we distribute food that the supermarkets can't sell to people who want it on a no questions asked, no means tested basis. And we found that we've enabled uh, lots of food to uh, avoid going into the bin and into landfill, so that's uh, been a great scheme for everyone concerned. In January 2020, the Health Board announced that they were planning to remove consultant-led emergency medicine from the Royal Glamorgan Hospital. Communities here were outraged at that proposal. So the community got together, we fought the Health Board, we fought the Labour government, we got them to change their minds and now consultant-led emergency medicine is going to stay in the Royal Glamorgan Hospital, at least for the time being. This is Lewis Street in Pentra, one of the worst streets uh, affected by the floods, although many properties in this area were affected. In fact, uh, almost 400 premises in all were uh, flooded in February 2020, and some of those premises were flooded a second and a third time. We don't fully understand what happened. We keep being told that the, the reason for the flood was a lot of rain. That's simply an unacceptable answer and that's why I am pushing for an independent inquiry so we can find out exactly what happened and we can be confident that we have the solutions in place to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. Too many people have lost their lives, too many lives have been affected by COVID and the economic fallout has been huge. COVID has shone a light on already existing inequalities and it's made them even bigger than they were before. So in areas that already had high levels of poverty, COVID has made that situation even worse. And that's why having a plan to turn around the situation is essential. Things are not going to get better on their own. difficulties in the world that haven't come about last week or six months ago or a year ago, they historic, they come from years and years and years ago. If you like, they come from, and she understands this, they come from the drain of resources from the valley with very, actually very little being put back. The first thing a Plaid Cymru government would do if we were elected would be to introduce a independent inquiry into the floods that have happened uh, here in February 2020. Then we would introduce a COVID recovery plan. The Rhonda's next step comes up with a series of policy proposals to turn around the economic fortunes of the Rhonda, to, to overturn the years of neglect that we've suffered here and to prepare the way for climate change. 
It's almost a hundred years that people in Wales have voted for one party. If we keep doing the same thing over and over, we're going to get the same results. It's time for a change. It's time for Plaid Cymru now.